Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here on Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, press that subscribe button because there's a red subscribe button below. I'm close to 10,000 subs. 80% is that come on. Watch the video, but don't subscribe. Don't be a lazy git and press subscribe. Even a thumbs up in the video or comment below would be really appreciated. No Celtic jersey today. Or in the playing at the moment against Wales, and there's me making Celtic content. But it's a video that I've been holding off on, and I want to discuss it today. Probably going to take about 10 minutes to chat about it. So I picked out a couple of players on my YouTube poll saying who has been the best signing under Ange so far. We have Joe Harton there, we have Jota, we have Carter Vickers, we have Atate, we have Koyogo, we have Moyeda, we even have um, Starfelt in there, and Matt O'Reilly. Jovanovic. So let's kick it off. I want to talk about Josip Jovanovic, Croatian right back. Signed from Lega Warsaw in the summer. Arta Boric convinced him to sign for us and he's been outstanding. He's a penalty taker. He's got a cracking penalty. Benenka cracking goal against Bayern Labakusen and he scored a couple of penalties so far. I think it's four penalties he's had to score for Celtic but um, he's consistent. He started off playing left back in his debut against Rangers at Ibrox. And look at the performance he had the other night against Rangers at Celtic Park. He's living rent free in Ryan Kent's head. For a ball, that video is absolutely outstanding. He's one of them players that you can play him on the wing, you can play him left back, right back, and he's very versatile. And I have to say, it was a good bit of business for Celtic. See him being there for two years, good bit of business for Ange and the club. I'd say about an 8 out of 10. There's obviously room for improvement. And I was saying the other night, if Callum McGregor didn't play. I would have felt hands on for um, Jovanovic to play defensive midfield. He has the qualities to do with so. An 8 out of 10 for Josip. Next one is Cameron Carter Vickers. Have you signed Jersey over in Scotland at the moment in my family's house? But um, he's been outstanding. He's on loan at the moment from Tottenham. We got him on deadline day back in the summer and he's been outstanding. One game's missed. One game. He's got a couple of goals in there as well against Hibbs and against Ross County. He's scoring his debut against Ross County. He's been phenomenal. And you can see he's um, helped um, Starfelt develop as well. Starfelt came in the summer. He came in from Ruben Kazan for five million. And he's had his, his doses of bad games and his doses of being very good as well. But it's time we lay off him. I've said it many times on this channel. You know, his goal will come. All he can do is just develop that partnership with um, Carter Vickers and and um, Welch and Beaton or Julian, and he'll come good. But regards to Carter Vickers, he just looks solid. He's had to having he's had to been on a few clubs in the last four years on loan from Tottenham, and I think it's time Celtic get this over the line. Pay the six million. I've said it many times. Pay the six million, get him on a permanent, and I think we can build a good defense around Carter Vickers. I think he's the answer. He just gives you that Mastorovich feeling. You know, he's solid. He doesn't make he doesn't make errors. He feels comfortable on the ball, you know. He doesn't give away stupid fouls. He doesn't really get booked a lot as well. So, um, I'll have to say an 8 out of 10 for Carter Vickers, big time. Next one I'm going to go on to is Jota. The one that everybody wants signed in the permanent. The man that came in and he looked like George Michael. He's been outstanding on the left wing. Why he's brought to Celtic, that flair in the left wing has been unbelievable you know he's had to play in 23 games for us he was out for six weeks we missed him crucially in the cup final but you know what he has nearly 10 assists now eight goals and there's the option there to buy him for 6.5 million at the end of the season benfica are looking to keep him but if celtic he's, he's living his life he's loving his life at celtic you look at that picture against dundee united when a bad scores straight into the fans he just gets the club and he's been the best left winger since Scott Sinclair. So I'd say I give him a 9 out of 10. I just think he hasn't really had many bad games. And hopefully he scores against Motherwell tomorrow. Like he done it the last time he went to Fair Park. So I'd say a 9 out of 10 for Jota. I personally want him on a, on a permanent. I hope it happens. But let's see if Celtic can be ambitious and get this guy over the line. Because he's pretty happy. And he has experience as well, scoring in Europe for Celtic as well. Some crucial goals against Ferran Varos, scoring against Bayern Leverkusen as well. And even his debut against Betis, who was outstanding playing on the right wing. So he's a good player. His, his relationship with Quayogo, 
with Callum McGregor, with Abada and other team players like Rodgers and stuff, it's been outstanding. And I, I have to say, I'm really enjoying Jota at the club. So I'll get this permanent done, 9 out of 10. Next one is Kyogo, a fan's favourite. We're missing him terrible. He's obviously suffering with hamstring injuries this season. He scored 16 goals this season. He's played up front, played on the left, and he has spells he played in the right. He was the man that won us the cup final against Hibs. He scored some crucial goals in Europe so far as well. And he's just, you know, who would have thought Brown, number eight last season, and now Cuyago, number eight. And he's just, it's mad to think he's adopted that number. And no one's even really recognised it. But um, he's been outstanding. He has to be a 10 out of 10 for me. You know, the only thing that I'd fault with Cuyago is he's getting too many injuries. He needs, more, he needs to be more physical. But um, last time we seen him play was against St. Johnson up in Perth. And he had to come off in the first 20 minutes. But I love Cuyago. I love the way he's so, so kind. He's a, he's a real team player, you know, he bonds with the team well. He said he's, he's dominated the Scottish League since he came in, the J League. He's playing, he's getting call up for his international team when he's fit as well. He's outstanding. It's a 10 out of 10. And we believe we got him on a permanent as well. I can see him going for big money. I can see maybe an 18, 19 million Kyogo in the next two or three years. So if we can keep him, have the Champions League football. Fingers crossed next season. I can see him getting a couple of goals in the Champions League. You know, he's just outstanding. He's a Japanese boy, even though we have a couple of them, but he's my favourite Japanese boy out of four, definitely. Next one is Rio Atate. What can we say about Rio Atate? Came in on New Year's Eve. A plane, plane full of Japanese volunteers approached Lennox Town. <laughs> but um, Rio Atate. Box to box midfielder. Two goals the other night in the derby. Cracking goal at Tyne Castle and a man of the match performance against Hibbs. He's just. He's been bossing it. And he's a player that I'm sure English clubs will be sniffing around at towards the end of the season. He's going nowhere. He's going to be hopefully at Celtic for the next four years. And this is a player that we can, we can count on. I think he's going to be a massive part of our success. And you see, he gets the club. He gets that engagement with the fans. And. Rangers already hate him because he has he has as much gold as Morelos in the Glasgow derby. So it's been a 9 out of 10. We've only seen him three games so far. So I don't want to boast about him too much. But there is a big future ahead for Rio Atate. And he's only in his early 20s as well, so which is pretty good. Next one, Matt O'Reilly came from the MK Dons. 1.5 million January signing. He's been outstanding. You know, he did... Off the uh, like off the walk, off the ball walk, he's been amazing. Takes the corners, takes the free kicks. He was unlucky not to score the other night. His debut at Tyne Castle, he was outstanding. He was talking about how much he, the atmosphere at Celtic Park is one of the best feelings that he's ever felt in his life. You know, it's just he's been really good. And I have to say, Tom Rogers and David Turnbull are going to get a headache trying to fight for the short to get in that position. But um, I'll have to give him a seven out of ten so far. You know, there's obviously he's only played a few games like Atate, but I've been impressed with him, but it's been a 7 out of 10. Just needs to get in the score sheet. He's been unfortunate at Tyne Castle. He was unfortunate at Celtic Park the last two times. Starfelt, I mentioned, I think Carl Starfelt, I feel sorry for him, you know, like he's obviously he's came in to replace Oya from that big meal from Brentford, Oya got, but um, he's had to have some solid games in the last two months. And I think fans need to lay off him. I think he will come good. He just, as I said, the likes of Carter Vickers have had development. And you never know, Julian might partner him one day and he might get developed there as well. So I'll have to give um, Carl Starfeld a 6 out of 10 at the moment. So, of course, Liel Abade. Someone that I nearly forgot about. A man that scored in his last two games. Took the tour goal very well the other night against Rangers. His positioning, scoring against um, Dundee. You know, it could be will be one of them crucial goals that we'll always remember for the rest of our lives. But he's been really good for Celtic. And you know, since he came in from the Israeli league, he has been he has spells of hot and cold stages on the right wing, but he has delivered when he played up front, when we were lacking striker, striker options. And I have to say, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, he's, he's obviously young. A lot to learn about the game. But in European aspects, he's, he's played well in, in the Europa League. He got a couple of goals in the Europa League for Celtic, even in the qualifiers as well, Champions League qualifying. So, um, Liel Albada would have to be an 8 out of 10 for me. Just keep up the hard work.
So Joe Hart is the boy, the signing of the Ange regime. Joe Hart, outstanding. What can you say? He bought him for a million quid off spores. He took a pay cut of 32 grand down to 15 grand to play first team football for Celtic. He's been he stepped in and been captain a couple of times. I'll be one crucial games with Joe Hart in there. He gets the club. He had that relationship with Fraser Foster. He knew how big Celtic was. He played against us a few times. Played a few charity games. But Joe Hart, when called upon, he's delivered. The only thing I have to say about Joe Hart is his passing. He just gives you the fear. That ball goes back to him. But saves, unbelievable. You know, he just pushes that team. And he gets and he swear this is he swear Joe Hart was up to being there for the last five to six years. You know, to look at what we we were dealing with last season, a goalkeeping crisis with Barkas, Hazard, you know, and it comes to the case with even Bain. Now we have an established number one that has mountains of experience, winning Premier League titles, winning four Golden Gloves in the Premier League, Champions League appearances, World Cup appearances, Euro appearances. And no, no steady hands better than Joe Hart at the moment. So um, Joe would be a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm not exaggerating, but I just think what, uh, what he brings to the pitch is unbelievable. Leadership, saving, getting that defence in front of him, organised, not giving away too many goals. Over double figures in um, clean sheets as well. He's played 25 games already for Celtic. So Joe Hart is the signing for me. Like everybody, like majority of people voted in the poll so Joe keep up the good work he's here for two seasons and you never know we'll see who we can replace from them but subscribe to the channel be back later on for the Motherwell game and take care